Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital. Kelly Monaco's final lines on GH as Sam says, I love you. End of an era. General Hospital fans know Sam McCall is dying as the soap-fired Kelly Monaco. And we may have just heard her last words on the ABC Sudzer. Sam said emotional goodbyes to friends and family before surgery. She's donating part of her liver to Lulu Spencer, Alexa Havens. The sad scenes felt like more than just a temporary farewell until after surgery. So these Thursday scenes could have been Sam's final spoken moments on the long-running ABC soap opera. The news of Kelly Monaco leaving General Hospital has been a shock to fans. She's been a fan favorite for more than two decades. The actress said her exit made no sense while the show insisted it was for storyline reasons they'd written out Sam. Monaco said her firing was an act of retaliation, and she's promised a full statement on the matter in the future. As Sam was taken to surgery, her final words were, I love you. And she threw up the hand gesture that expressed those words. She did it as they rounded the corner at General Hospital. It might have been her last conscious moments on the show. And Monaco later confirmed that moment was unscripted. The emotional scene shows her dedication and professionalism. The embrace between Kelly Monaco and Bradford Anderson, Damien Spinelli, was heartbreaking. The actors touched on their characters' deep bond and the reality that they would no longer be working together on General Hospital. Some viewers questioned why they had Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, and Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, in Sam's final moments, but their presence was a nod to the rich history between the characters. Sam and Sonny share a tragic past on General Hospital. They lost their baby, Leela, at birth. And Carly and Sam have had a tumultuous relationship over the years. What we saw on General Hospital on Thursday may be Kelly Monaco's final speaking moments as Sam McCall. And fans are heartbroken as Sam McCall said her emotional goodbyes to other characters, including her children. Now Sam may die during surgery, either on the operating table or from complications. Also, could Cyrus Renault, Jeff Kober, be involved? There's a leak saying he may tamper with her IV post-op. We'll have to see what GH has in store. Sam's brother, Lucas Jones, Ryan Carnes, is performing the surgery. And he would be crushed if she dies on the table as he operates. Many General Hospital fans also question why some characters were not there mainly Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, and Christina Corinthos, Kristen Vaginos. Also, Molly Lansing, Kate Mancy, was missing. Why did the show handle her exit like that? Perhaps because they're newer cast members and not tied to her deep history. Who knows? Fans hope the show will give Sam McCall a respectful send-off. She deserves one. And the character's sacrifice should be noted. Also, her dedication to General Hospital. Kelly Monaco's grace speaks volumes. And viewers want to see her talent on another show in the future. The soft, glowing lights of the Port Charles skyline reflected in Sam McCall's eyes as she stood on the docks, staring out over the water. It was a view she'd come to know so well, perhaps too well. So many years had come and gone in this place, each one bringing both heartbreak and healing, danger and serenity. Sam's life had been a whirlwind in Port Charles, but tonight, she felt something different in the air, a weight heavier than she'd ever known. It wasn't just another chapter ending, it felt like the closing of an entire book. Tonight, Kelly Monaco would say her final words as Sam McCall on General Hospital, the character she had brought to life for more than two decades. The role had seen her through epic romances, unbreakable friendships, and heart-stopping showdowns. But more than anything, Sam McCall had been the unwavering spirit of a woman who could survive anything that came her way. And as Kelly prepared for her last scene, 
She knew it had to be perfect, a moment that would linger in the hearts of the fans who had supported her through it all. The wind picked up, catching Sam's hair, and she hugged her leather jacket closer around her. It was late, and she told no one she'd be here. That was part of what made Sam Sam, her lone wolf nature. She was the one who slipped away in the night, the one who figured things out on her own. And tonight, she had some serious thinking to do. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind her, soft but deliberate. She didn't turn around. After all these years, she knew those footsteps better than her own heartbeat. Jason Morgan stood beside her, his presence as familiar as it was comforting. They stood in silence for a long moment, just taking in the familiar sounds of the docks and the distant hum of the city. Couldn't sleep, Jason asked, breaking the silence. Sam shook her head. Not tonight. Jason's gaze was steady, and his voice was gentle. You thinking about leaving Port Charles? Sam turned to face him, and in her eyes was a glimmer of the woman she'd been when they first met, young, wild, and filled with fire. So much had changed since then. They had loved, fought, broken apart, and somehow always found their way back to one another. Even in moments of separation, it was as though some invisible thread connected them. Maybe, she admitted. I've been feeling it for a while now, like I'm ready for something different. Maybe I need to find out who I am beyond all of this. Jason's face was unreadable, a skill he'd mastered over years of being both her protector and her rock. But a slight tremor in his voice betrayed him. And who's Sam McCall without all of this? She laughed softly, looking down. That's what I need to find out. He reached for her hand, his touch familiar and reassuring. You know, whatever happens, you've got people here who love you. More than you know. The words hung between them, heavy with meaning. The fans had followed the ups and downs of J. Sam through decades of triumphs, losses, and impossible odds. Kelly Monaco had crafted a character who could be fierce and independent, but also vulnerable and raw. Her Sam had been through unimaginable hardships, but her heart remained intact. And now, standing on this dock, she was saying her goodbye to all of it. Jason's eyes softened, his hand still holding hers. Wherever you go, I hope you find peace, Sam. You deserve it. A lump formed in her throat, and she fought to keep her composure. You know, Jason, when I first came to Port Charles, I didn't know what I was looking for. I thought I was just drifting from one place to another. But then I found you. And I realized maybe I wasn't drifting. Maybe I was just waiting to find where I belonged. His gaze was intense, as though he was trying to memorize her face. And now, Sam took a shaky breath. Now I think I'm ready to find a new place to belong. They shared a long, silent look, filled with memories of stolen kisses, daring escapes, and whispered promises in the dark. It was a farewell that words alone could not contain. Jason looked down, as if searching for words he couldn't quite find. Finally, he spoke. So is this goodbye? Sam's voice cracked, the weight of the moment pressing down on her. It doesn't have to be goodbye, Jason. You'll always be in my heart, wherever I go. And you've given me a lifetime's worth of memories. But yeah, I guess. This is goodbye. She reached out, resting a hand on his cheek. It was such a simple gesture, but one filled with all the love and sorrow she carried for him over the years. Jason covered her hand with his, leaning into her touch. I love you, Sam, he whispered, his voice thick with emotion. The words hung in the air, the final echo of a love story that had defied the odds time and time again. A single tear rolled down her cheek, and she managed a small, bittersweet smile. I love you too, Jason. I always will. With a final squeeze of his hand, Sam turned and began walking away. Each step felt like she was leaving a piece of herself behind, but she kept going. 
As she reached the edge of the dock, she paused, glancing back one last time. Jason was still standing there, watching her, his figure framed by the shimmering lights of Port Charles. It was a memory she would carry with her forever. And as the camera panned out, capturing the bittersweet beauty of the moment, Kelly Monaco's final words as Sam McCall echoed softly. Goodbye, Port Charles. Thank you for everything. The screen faded to black, but the legacy of Sam McCall would live on. A testament to Kelly Monaco's unforgettable portrayal. The end of an era, yes, but also the beginning of a new chapter for both Sam and the fans who had loved her.